What do Aaron Ra, the militant atheist hate theist, and inspiring philosophies Michael Jones, Christian, <laughs> profession Christian, theist, have in common? Well, as you're going to see, they have a lot of shit in common. Get that damn mouse out of here. No one. I've tried to reach out to both of them. I have some evidence. I'm trying. I'm begging Aaron Ra to explain to me what's happening. If it's not God, then scientifically, what the fuck is happening? But Aaron Ra and all the atheist community is too scared of this evidence. Because if this evidence is, is true, it would up in and turn upside down their raw view of on atheism. And quite frankly, to be honest, Aaron Ra, there's so much infinitely more to reality than y'all motherfuckers, you y'all rationalists, propose. What you know is only the tip of the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more. There's infinitely. There's so much incomprehensibly. There are so many possibilities that would seem supernatural, spiritual, if you'd only open your fucking mind. I would get brain cancer since you're not using your brain. Inspiring philosophy. He's supposed to be a Christian. He's supposed to care about fellow Christians. He's supposed to care about humanity. I begged him to let me do a video of how on how I know that God is three in one. And to review my video and tell me what he thinks and to comment on it. The motherfucker will not do so. So that's one thing they have in common. I've reached out to both of them. Two, they're both arrogant as shit. Aaron Ra thinks he knows all the answers. And Michael Jones sees, thinks he knows all the answers. Have you ever seen both of them talk to people, talk down to people? The air and smugness that exudes from their personalities, from their body language, from their speech, tone. Perhaps the biggest sin of both these motherfuckers that they have in common, they both did more. They both have relegated me to the nigger section. Hey, you want to won't know why I'm so full of hate? You can't put a person in the nigger section for decades and it not eat away at his sanity, humanity, and mind. Change his love to hate. I used to love people. I used to love the human race. Now I hate them. And what, one thing I wish both of them had, had in common, Matt Dill Honey and Michael Jones, I wish they'd both get brain cancer. Since they're not using their brain correctly. <laughs> I wish Aaron Rog would get brain cancer and was so fuck up his mind he start believing in the pink unicorns and the fairy tales. <laughs> oh! I wish Michael Jones would have brain cancer and just fucking die. Both of these people have ignored me after this unfor this Otherwise, unforgivable sin. I'm willing to forgive them if they only give me a fucking chance. Oh, that's another thing that Aaron Ra and Michael Jones both have in common. They're making bajillions of dollars. Sitting on the ass, not having to work a square blue collar job, but making money. Fleecing their flock on social media. And... Because they're partnered on YouTube, and that's another reason. And I can't get, I can't start making money on social media. I can't get partnered. So since that is true, does that mean they, since they're getting their rewards down, right down, down here, since they're living the sweet life now, can they have both get brain cancer? So that the means that the billions of dollars they're making on social media won't mean shit to them. 
And since my life is shit right here, can I end up being a good looking guy? Inspiring philosophy. The Holy Spirit of God the Father is also the Spirit of Jesus Christ. That's how God's three in one. I, I, I do a much in depth if you only would give me a fucking chance. And yeah, if you're a true Christian, even though I said the things about you I did, you still love me. If you don't, you're a fucking hypocrite. And remember, Jesus said, if you don't do these things, I'll say to you, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Oh, inspiring philosophy would say to Jesus, Didn't I tell people about you? Didn't I study the Bible and study history? Didn't I? Jesus is going to say to you, Depart from me, ye worker of, worker of iniquity. I never knew you. And Ra, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when, you're, when you die. Because you got a shitload of demons waiting for you to tear you apart. And stick that dick up your butt. And you stick that dicks up your butt. Oh! And I want to see this. Because I'm angry because of what you've done to me. How you've made me feel bad about myself. You've hurt my self esteem. You've killed my self esteem. So, figuratively, you killed me. Now I want to see you die. Don't you know the penalty for murder should be the death penalty? You've killed me in a real sense by killing my self-esteem. Now, now it's your turn to fucking die. I I don't want to I don't want to be this way. I want to love people, but when people don't love me, go to hell. Goddamn fuck, god dick shit, mother dick on the goddamn rags, bitch.